Blessed Friday, everyone. Welcome po sa ating daily devotions. Today is April 30. Uh, so, we will be looking at the entry for today. It's on Isaiah 6, verse 8. And it reads, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then said I, Here, I, here am I, send me. Ang title po ng ating devotion is, uh, Heed the Call of God. Ito pong sabi ni Tozer. If Abraham had ever grumbled to the Lord about leaving the beggarly idols of Ur, God would have, would have let him go back. We are free to do the will of God, but God never makes us um, his unwilling prisoners. God called Abraham out. God gave him the promised land, and God said, Abraham, from among your posterity will come the Messiah in the fullness of time. Uh, let me just comment a bit. Um, sinasabi ni Tozer that kung hindi umalis si Abraham, Abraham siya noon, or Abraham noon after baguhin ang Diyos ang kanyang pangalan, um, he would have uh, let him go back to the land of Ur. Um, but the Bible is very clear as well. Isaiah 46.10 declaring the ends from the very beginning. Yes, if ever that was the case, kung nagkataon na hindi pumayag or, or hindi uh, nagtake ng step of faith si Abraham, he, he could have probably uh, gotten back or he, he would have returned back to Ur. Pero, since uh, God's sovereignty holds and, and God's sovereignty declares that He declares the end from the very beginning, God would orchestrate things. Uh, His providence would um, make a way for Abraham to indeed follow the course of God's um, eternal decree, right? Um, so, magpapatuloy pa rin si Abraham. Uh, pupunta pa rin si Abraham because it was decreed by God eternally from the very beginning. Yes, possibly kaya mangyari. I think so. But then again, hindi naman nangyari, right? Uh, I think what, what A, uh, A. W. Tozer was saying is that um, there is a uh, sense of urgency for us to heed the call, to uh, respond to God's call. And hypothetically, kung hindi sumunod si Abraham, then posibleng bumalik siya. Pero since, again, I, I have said a while ago, uh, God's eternal decree stands, God would have made uh, ways for Abraham to still go. Tapos sabi niya rito, This is the greatest reason why we should tell, every, uh, every, uh, tell people everywhere to, heed, to hear and heed the call of God. So we can lead them into everything that is good and blessed and, and worthwhile. Tama yun. Um, with regards to other people, we do not know uh, kung ano ang plano ng Diyos sa kanila. Right? Um, but we would continue on proclaiming God's word not for anything else but because we were commanded to proclaim the word and pray that God would indeed move in this person's life uh, para siya ay um, magheed sa call ng Panginoon Diyos na sumuko at sumunod sa kanyang kalooban right um sabi nito, God wants us wants to call us out into a more abundant and fruitful Christian life than we have ever known if only we would heed the call, right? And when we say abundant life, it's not necessarily uh, pointing to uh, financial and material blessings, right? It's pointing to a life filled with uh, God's blessing as He uses us uh, for His glory's sake, as um, we get to know Him more, as we are um, given privileges to be His mouthpiece, tama? And so, um, the call to to heed and answer God's call is a an urgent one. Kaya dapat tayo habang tayo ay uh, binibigyan ng pagkakataon ng Diyos na 
maging mouthpiece niya sa mantay na roon, especially sa mga tao na sasakupan natin, we should continue on um, uh, proclaiming God's word parang passionately and with a sense of urgency kasi how would they know if no one would preach to them? Diba? Uh, how would uh, they believe if uh, they have not heard? And so, it's just beautiful that God's means to save people is still through His Word. And uh, yung pribileho na gamitin niya tayo para maging kasangkapan niya ay isang napaagandang ha, um, regalo sa atin ng Panginoon Right? So, <clears throat> Let us listen to the prayer of Tozer for us. Lord, who am I to argue with you or to call into question your sovereign choice? The decision is not mine but yours. So be it, Lord. Your will, not mine, be done. Kagayang sinabi natin kayo kung sakasakaling hindi na sumunod si Abraham in noong unang-una, uh, God would have made ways providentially for his sovereign decree uh, to come to pass, right? So, again, um, it's just so amazing that as we are going through the pandemic, ang mga devotions natin is uh, nagpapaalala sa atin to man up, to stand firm in the faith, na wag malugmok sa um, um, self-pity and sa fear bagos um, ini-encourage tayo ng Panginoon Diyos maging active sa um, pagsasabuhay at uh, pagbabagi ng kanyang salita kahit kayo man sa atin na sasakupan, right? So, it's telling us what's the most important thing that the, uh, the world needs to know the vaccine yes, vaccine to address the virus but to address sin and eternal separation from God they need to hear the good news. They hear. They need to hear the gospel, right? So, what a uh, beautiful way to end the week. Bukas pa lang week ender natin, but it's a weekend still. So, uh, magpasalamat tayo sa ating Panginoon sa faithfulness niya all throughout the week. Let's uh, close with a word of prayer. Shall we pray? Lord, we thank you that uh, you are sovereign that your eternal decree has been uh, mapped out from eternity past. As you have said in your word, declaring the end from the very beginning. And uh, we thank you, Lord, that you are a, an awesome, sovereign God. And because of that, Lord, your providential uh, hand would work and cause things to work together for good para ma-fulfill po yung mga uh, purposes ninyo. Salamat Lord at uh, nangyari ito at nakapangyari sa buhay namin when um, in your uh, great schemes napainggan po namin yung salita sa inyo pong dakilang biyaya binigyan kami ng panampaltaya ng buhay para maniwala and uh, salamat po kung paanong Ngayon po kami ang ginagamit ninyo para ipangaral ninyo salita. And so we pray right now that we would be passionate in living out and sharing your word kasi alam po namin itong kaparaanan ninyo para magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan ang sino man na manampaltaya sa inyo. We pray that we would start with our families, with our friends, with our um, office mates and uh, dalangin namin, Panginoong Diyos, maging um Masunurin kami sa inyo pong uh, pagtawag na patuloy nga pong ipangaral, ipamalita ang inyo pong ibanghelyo. We thank you, Lord, for the whole week. We thank you for your faithfulness. We pray that you would continue to be with us as we, again, um, live this day um, in total dependence on you. We thank you again for everything. We anticipate tomorrow as a weekender for this week. And we pray that you will bless us again with your word. Maray maray salamat po sa pangalan mo Jesus. Itong amin dalangin. Amen at amen. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you all tomorrow. God bless you.
Ingat po kayo.